Hey there team, uh, welcome to this short video to announce some field trips for this next spring. Um, if you're anything like me, I like to have things planned out ahead. Like I don't like looking at the calendar and seeing blank spots. So I've been thinking about trying to get some of these field trips planned ahead of time so folks can know and make arrangements accordingly if they're interested. Um, and really, to be honest, this is like my favorite thing I suppose that I do with my viewing community with you folks is that getting people out in the field together. I mean, that's the way geology is meant to be uh, explained. It's the way it's meant to be experienced is, you know, outside in, you know, with the scale and the context of the landscape and the geology right in front of you, learning together, uh, exploring. That's the idea. So these are my favorite opportunities to to do with viewers and hopefully you can join me. So let me just go ahead and run you through uh, some of the dates I have for the spring. And then looking ahead into the rest of the year, I've got some some firm dates and some sort of just general ideas. And then I'll also show you uh, where you can find these on the field trip. So of course the Hawaii trip is full. We do those once a year, usually in early January. So if you're interested in going next year, which would be 2027, uh, send an email to us, at, uh, the email on the website, and Amanda Joe can get you on the waiting list for that. Uh, here's the big one here, the one that I kind of teased in a post earlier this week. This is uh, southwestern Utah, sort of the St. George area. So looking at three one-day trips, you can sign up menu style for all three, or maybe you just want to go on one or two whatever the case may be. So the Friday trip will be into Snow Canyon State Park, which is sometimes called a, a mini Zion, just fantastic geology, big, beautiful sandstone cliffs, but actually a lot more diverse geology than what you find in Zion National Park, at least according to me. There's there's lava flows there, a really cool evolving landscape, lots to see in that area. The Saturday trip will be into the Beaver Dam Mountains and the Virgin River Gorge, which is an area just to the west of the town of St. George. And then the Sunday trip will be to the Hurricane Fault and the Virgin Anacline. Let me just take a, a brief pause here and take you over to Google Earth and show you kind of where we're looking at here. So here's the great state of Utah. If you're not familiar with the area, this little corner of Utah, even though we're going in February, you might be like, oh, it's cold and snowy. Why would I want to go to Utah in February? This is a mild little pocket of Utah. It's lower elevation. Um, it's more, I mean, people winter in this area. This is kind of your snowbird, the start of your kind of snowbird country here in the Southwest. So average temperatures there in mid-February are, you know, 60s, mid-60s or so. You know, it can be colder, obviously. It can be warmer, um, but it's actually quite mild. So a great time of year to go to this area. In terms of accessing St. George, you have a couple of options. If you're outside the area, you could fly into Las Vegas, which is easy enough. Drive up the hour and a half to St. George, or I suppose you could fly into Salt Lake City and from there down to St. George, it's about, I think it's about four hours or so. So not too far, um, but again, just kind of the area we are looking to go in. So the idea is here, we'll just meet each day at a given sort of rendezvous point. Everyone will bring a sack lunch, have their kind of stuff ready to go. We'll try to carpool and minimize our cars each day. Uh, the first day will be right here in snow canyon so this is this area right here very close to st george the second field trip takes us over into the beaver dam mountains which are over here um, and we'll go through the beaver dam mountains i guess over here um, out into technically the, the the mojave desert area here uh, and then come up through the virgin river gorge along interstate 15 and then our third field trip day on sunday will take us east of st george over here to the hurricane uh, fault and this big escarpment here that separates the Colorado Plateau and the the tr transition zone or the Basin and Range province over here. There's also some other structures in this area. But again, fantastic geology in all these locations. So that gives you a little snapshot of where we're going. If you want to sign up, we've already got things set up for you. So you can go to my uh, web page that Amanda Joe set up for us. Really well done job by her. So we'll see geology.com. Come over here to field trips, click on field trips, and she's got all three of those field trips uh, set up there. You can reserve your spot, uh, pay that that amount there, uh, sign the waiver, get all signed up for that. I do have them capped right now at 25. Anything more than 25 people tends to be a bit much in terms of just, you know, crowd management and logistics and stuff, but I think we'll be okay with those. So there's each one of those here. You can click on the more info button, 
for each one of those uh, to get more information. And as we add more field trips, this is where they'll they'll land. So eventually, as we get more field trips uh, planned and pegged down, this is the place to look. Okay, getting back to the announcements for the field trips real quick here. Um, so we talked about the uh, February trips uh, later this year in May. May 1st to the 3rd, I'm going to run some trips I've run before here in Southern Idaho. So if you haven't been able to come to these, these will be probably staged right here out of Twin Falls. Or if you want to meet us at the location, that's fine too. So uh, a, a day trip to Craters of the Moon National Monument, uh, all the young volcanic features there, just a fantastic landscape. Uh, the City of Rocks, which is a, a national reserve, another just gorgeous location. Uh, high desert scenery with big granite towers and fins of rock sticking out of the ground, including some of the oldest rocks in this part of Western North America. And then a third day, I guess that would be the, the Sunday trip, which would be out to the Hagerman area where we can see the effects of both um, volcanic activity, lake deposits, interaction between water and lava. Uh, just another one of my favorite places to take folks and explain geology. So there are some nice hard dates for you for spring. Uh, looking ahead to the rest of the year, some of these have firm dates, some of these don't. I have two trips into Iceland in late May into early June. Those are full, but if you want to get on the list for uh, either the waiting list or into 2027's trip, you can again email uh, us at the website, uh, email address on the website. That'll go to Amanda Joe, and she'll keep that waiting list for us there. Uh, the Grand Canyon River trip for this year is also full, but again, you can jump on the waiting list or uh, get on the early, I guess, notification list for the next year. Um, We'll do another, we did this last year, but some field trips in central Idaho in the Stanley area in the Redfish Mount, or excuse me, in the Sawtooth Mountains up Redfish Canyon, just spectacular scenery, world-class geology. Uh, I'll pick a date for that later uh, as we get into 2026, but sometime in mid-July. Uh, I do have some other trips pinned down a little bit more specifically. Uh, two years ago, I did uh, three different day trips in the Salt Lake City area, northern Utah, and we're going to run those again. We've got one up Little Cottonwood Canyon on the 25th. The 26th will be out on Antelope Island uh, State Park, which is an island in the middle of the Great Salt Lake. Again, fantastic, amazing geology. And then the 27th, we do a transect from Ogden, Utah, uh, right through structures and rocks related to the severe orogeny uh, and end up in the near a town uh, area called Echo Canyon. So I'll be on the 27th. And then another trip I did this year. Oh boy, it's kind of getting cut off. Let's see if we can uh, bump that up a little bit. There we go. Um, a trip I did this past fall that was a lot of folks showed interest in and it went really well. I think it turned out fantastic is what I call a chasing the Yellowstone hotspot trip. We're going to start here in Twin Falls, work our way up the Snake River Plain. This is sort of a caravan style trip. So we, we move from location to location each day over four days, ultimately ending up in Yellowstone National Park when the trip will end. So uh, it felt good for me to get some of these on the calendar and get things pinned down, um, kind of work these around my teaching and school schedule here and other things going on. But I want to have plenty of these opportunities available for you to join me on these field trips. Hopefully folks can get signed up soon for this one in southwestern Utah in February. We'll get the May trips up in the next week or two as well. And I'll let you know. But the best thing to do is just keep checking that website uh, to get signed up for the field trips. And then for the ones further into 2026, um, yeah, I mean, definitely within a couple months of those being run, they should be up on the website. But if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks for all of you for making this channel and this community so great. Hope to see you out in the field on a field trip with me and with others. We have awesome folks that show up for these. It's a Great way to meet new friends interested in geology. I've seen relationships um, forged there, people who become like geology adventure buddies um, after coming on one of these trips. So it's just really fun to see, and it's a great time for all. So um, hopefully we'll see you on some field trips, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.